Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. In the last episode we took on Lugia in the Whirl Islands. He, 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 he took a very long time to be caught but he did eventually be caught and it was really, really frustrating. Uh, we also took on Logan, our rival, in the final epic encounter in Mount Moon. We're never going to see him again, but he had some pretty awesome Pokemon, so it doesn't really matter. In this episode, the finale, the last episode of Pokemon Gold. I hope you've enjoyed it, because I've enjoyed it quite a lot. We are going to be taking on the final challenge left to us. And you might notice, for a start, we're in Pallet Town. That's because we've got to go over here. Because there was one little thing which cropped up as soon as we entered Kanto, or as soon as we came to Pallet Town, that we've got to go talk to this guy. Hello. Wow, that's excellent. <laughs> I wonder if, I don't know, that there's a snap reference in there somewhere. You collected the you collected the badges of gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell, me, tell you what, Jackass, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Jackass. Go up to the Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How is your Pokedex coming on? No one cares. It's doing not bad, but I haven't really been focusing on that. I'm getting pretty good at this. But you have a long way to go. Very much so. I don't care about the Pokedex. So... Mount Silver, it's the final challenge. By the way, this is a quick thing. This is Pokemon Gold, there's a Mount Silver. In Pokemon Silver, there is not there is not a uh, Mount Gold. It doesn't quite work like that. The developers weren't that savvy, okay? It just didn't happen. So, Mount Silver, okay. Let me have a, um, hang on. Okay, there we go, I just have to open a window because it's really, really warm today. It's a beautiful day. But anyway, Mount Silver, it's an extra area added onto the game which is designed to prove how good of a Pokemon master you are. It's a, it's a post-game thing, it just, it's beautiful. Let me just get there. It does take a little while to get to where I actually want to be, so we got some time to talk about stuff. Especially when they start chucking level 3 Rattatars at us at this stage in the game, but whatever. So off screen, real quick, I have leveled up quite a lot of my Pokemon to a reasonable level. They're all kind of 59, 58, Dylan's level 57 because he's a hipster. And that's for very good reason, as we'll find as we get closer and closer to where I want to be. So we're back here. Remember this place with the, 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 the checkpoint guard? There was a guard here, which moved when we beat the Elite Four, and a guard here. Well, I think he's actually here. But there was a guard here who said that, um, you know, we, we couldn't go any further. Mount Seal was blocked off because it's scary and dangerous. And that's what poor talking to Professor Oak unlocks. And we can go through here and go to a place called Mount Silver. Oh no, <laughs> Mount Silver, are you ready? This is, this is proper scary stuff. There are strong Pokemon in these grasses. Don't fuck about, there's a house up there. I can't remember what's in that house. Can I get there? I don't know. Not sure I can get there right now, but I'm gonna try and get there anyway. Suddenly they're starting ch to chuck like level 40 Pokemon at us. This is, this is step up, I like it. It's like Victory Road. The music's almost not, actually it's completely different to Victory Road. Pokemon Center. Oh cut, okay. I'm not I'm not bothering with the cut, but let me just let me just heal so I can have this as a little place I can come back to because I might need I don't know, I might need this. It's it's something to think about, I don't know. But anyway guys, how are we doing? I wanna talk real quick about my internet, because I feel that it should be mentioned that my internet is a piece of poo. It's the single Okay, my internet isn't that bad. It it functions, it's pretty good. I'm playing like online games and it works fine. But, I've got to use Flash here, but my internet, since, okay, for a start, my laptop runs off of Windows 8, which is fine. Windows 8 is bad, but not impossible to cope with, which I'm, I'm perfectly okay with, because I can just work around it, it's a little bit annoying, but who gives a shit? Then they updated it to Windows, I think, 8.1 was what they called it. I don't know, don't really give a shit. Windows 8.1. Immediately once I did that, my internet went to fucking pieces. It was, it's not the fact that it's terrible, because it's actually pretty good internet. My upload and download speed's pretty good. But what happens is that occasionally my internet will just drop out for like an hour or two hours or something. And this is literally just on my laptop. This, I've got like an iPad, it works fine on that. All the other computers and laptops in the household work fine. Literally just this one laptop up there. It's just so dumb, incredibly dumb, makes me angry. But if anybody has any issues or similar issues, feel free, it's like a campsite, a campfire site thing. And we just talk about our, our computer problems. <laughs> How bad's your computer? My computer's really bad, ah. Oh. 
My, my computer's pretty good, but even so, <laughs> it's a bit annoying. So just going over my team again, I want to just pause and look at my team. Isn't it amazing? I, I, I looked through this recently and thinking, I've got a really friggin' good team. Kind of. It's, it, I, I, so I've got a speed, speed merchant here. I've got a half decent wall there. I've got a special attacker there. I've got a attacker and special, well, all round Pokemon there. I've got my amazing all round Pokemon there. And I've got my defensive wall. I am pretty well set for the challenge which is coming up, but I'm going to save anyway, okay? Just in case. Because frankly, you never know how well you're going to do. But here we go. For anybody who doesn't know this already, what do you reckon it's going to be? Because it's pretty good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That, we're we're, we're going to do it. Let me just check that my Pokemon real quick. Checking there that, they're, that they're in the right order. Okay. Let me just change it a tiny bit. Don't worry. I've got this, guys. And it's... Hang on. The f the hell? His backpack looks different to mine. But it looks pretty similar. Feel that? Feel it? It's Pokemon Trainer Red! If you don't know what this means, this is Pokemon Trainer Red from Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow. This is the protagonist from that game. This is you from that game, okay? That's what that means. You are fight- I'm now fighting myself. I'm fighting a previous iteration of myself who has, pound for pound, the strongest Pokemon of any trainer in any Pokemon game. I mean, this gets stronger for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It goes up by like seven levels each. But holy shit! This is awesome. This is amazing. It's fantastic. Charizard! I actually have, I looked through my team, I think I have a natural counter to every single thing he has in his team. So, I'm chuffed for, I'm chuffed to bits about that, if you don't know what that means, it means I'm very, very happy, okay? Uh, what's my best, oh by the way, I actually know learned Thunder, and I got rid of Strength because I didn't need it! Fire Spin! Don't even care. I actually know has got 200 plus HP, you ain't got a chance mate. I've got Thunder Punch, which has been proven by fighting through the Elite Four, it's the best move in the game. Thunder Punch. Look at that! I am considerably lower leveled, but I'm doing fine. I've, that Pikachu, level 81, died in one shot to Wiggles, which is incredible. It's in absolutely incredible. I love it. Interesting to note that despite Red being incredibly strong, as we're seeing here, he isn't that difficult. I mean, his Pokemon are quite well rounded, but it means that they have weaknesses to quite a lot of types, you can come in here with a fairly balanced team and do pretty well, which I really like. Uh, Espeon, Espeon's, I, there are two Pokemon here that could give me trouble and Espeon is one of them, okay. Espeon is a very good special attacker, psychic type, EV type, EV isn't a type, it's, it's, a, it's a way of life, I've got bite though, so. Stuff you, stuff you, that's a polite way of saying fuck you I don't know uh, that does a lot that did a bunch of bunch of damage okay I can deal with that maybe uh, leftovers might not be that helpful what what else can I mmm okay that's an interesting predicament but Biggles not Biggles uh, Dylan is down which is annoying hmm <laughs> what to do what to do uh, let's go for uh, the, 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 the walnut. Okay, walnut's fantastic at everything. He's not that much of a uh, special wall, but I've got spikes. Spikes is so good! So incredibly good. I don't know if red has any full restores. I think he does, but he doesn't use them as liber liberally. Liberally is a word, I think. <laughs> uh, my special defense is down. That's going to be annoying, but I've got my leftovers back. Uh... Uh, explosion! <laughs> if in doubt, explosion. Psychic is gonna be very annoying. My special defense is down. Survive! No. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, we can we can deal with that. Just losing a couple of Pokemon. That's fine. That's fine. Spikes is up as well, so that's good as well. Um, metronome. <laughs> Just a tiny bit panicking because this Espeon is kicking my ass. But try not to take me out. Don't take me out. Don't, don't take me out. Don't, good. Give me something good. Metronome, give me Hyper Beam. <laughs> Bobo! Yes! Yes! Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a critical hit. Okay. Now we're going to start bringing in some, bringing in some, uh, 
extra support because I'm going to get sweeped pretty quickly by Espeon, which I don't particularly want to. Don't particularly want that to happen. Okay, not it's not really my my lifelong dream to be swept by an Espeon. Still pretty powerful. The Espeon is pretty powerful, but not really my uh, area of expertise to be swept by an Espeon. <laughs> ah, it's so powerful. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're ready. Uh, what did, how much is Surf gonna do? Surf might work better. I don't know. Psychic is how much PP has Psychic got? Someone said earlier in like a very early episode that all the trainers in this game have unlimited PP on all of their moves, which is mildly ridiculous. I'm not sure I really want that to be a thing because that could be annoying because Psychic is ridiculous. Uh, Surf is gonna do that much. I'm gonna revive someone else. <laughs> this is how this battle's gonna work now. Um, Warnor might be good. Maybe I can explode on Espion and see what happens then. Hmm. Oh, this battle has gone slightly to pot. It's gone a, a little bit wrong, but I can, I can, I can recover this. I can recover this. Don't worry. Psychic's gonna take me out. How much PP? P I know it's got ten. I don't know how much it's been, how much has been used by this stage, but hmm, that's a good move. Espeon is a good Pokemon. I would have used it in my playthrough if it wasn't from the fact that uh, everyone uses an Espeon. I don't know if you know that. Everyone uses a fucking Espeon. <laughs> Explosion! Let's go! Just don't crit me and we should be in the money. In the money, all over the money. Psychic, don't crit me. Don't crit me. Yes! Yes! Explosion, take it out! Take it out! Explosion has been... For well, self-destruct was good, but Explosion could do a very good job here. What a great job by that Walnut! Absolutely fantastic! I do need him for a, another Pokemon later, but... Ah! Okay. Um, let's go with Wiggles. We took out that Charizard, didn't we? Okay. Just just, just thinking, just thinking. By the way, guys, while I am while I am thinking... That's not... That's a bit annoying. While I am just thinking on, on the spot here, um, I've got to make a highlights video for this Let's Play, saying, you know, showing what, what are the best moments from this Let's Play. I need suggestions, because it's not a one-man job by any means. So guys, what has been your favourite moment from this Let's Play? Um, could, be, could be whatever it is, I don't know. I don't really work in that way. Once I put out a video, I leave it to one side and just like, ah, you just fucking, it's on YouTube now, who cares? So, I haven't bonded that much with this Let's Play. It's been pretty good, I have enjoyed this, because it's, it's a whole childhood, nostalgic central game. This is the last one of those, but, like, super crazy. I've got loads of nostalgic games, but this is the, the intense one, the intense Feeling of nostalgia. I'm gonna try not to die. <laughs> uh, I need to. Hmm. Thunder punch. Do it. Rain dance. I could have gone for a thunder. I will do that next turn if I don't die, uh, or at least, or if he doesn't die, even. We'll have to see. Thunder punch. Take him down. Take him downtown. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rain is falling. I can go for a thunder and be fine with that. Surf. Don't take me out. Don't take me out. I don't want to go on a date with Surf. I don't want any of that friggin' at, it, it, at Italian food. Italian food. It's 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 spaghetti. Don't like it. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> I love spaghetti. What am I saying? Thunder. Hundred hundred percent accuracy in the rain, which means you, sir, are down. I'm running out of Pokemon. <laughs> we're doing okay. Doing okay. His main threats are gone. That, that's how I see that. Snorlax coming in is pretty good for me. I'm gonna go to Biggles. <laughs> I'm just working this out in my head. That's fine, because Snorlax is a very stool central Pokemon, which means that I can just kind of bring my team round again, if need be. Okay. Uh, I need to. Where's my. I've got loads of revives somewhere, haven't I? Uh, the, 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 the 20 of them, that's fine. Um, what's left? It's a Snorlax and a Venusaur, is the other one which is left, so I need to bring that. Um, Walnut for a start. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm a little bit annoyed that I couldn't get through this battle without just pulling out all of the revives and all that shit, but I'm fine with that. I can deal with that. It won't be too bad. Special defense going up. Snorlax's best stat, I think, other than HP, is in fact its uh, special defense, which means that using Amnesia turns it into a, an impenetrable special wall, which is a little bit unfair, but I have physical threats that can overcome that. So, yay. Wonderful. Yay for me. Body slam, don't take me out. Don't take me out, bro. Paralyze me instead. Gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can He's taking a little while to take me out, so that's fine. Walnut needs to come back to regular health because 
This Snorlax, Snorlaxes can have incredibly diverse move pools, but despite that, um, a Snorlax doesn't actually have, this Snorlax in particular doesn't have all that many moves that, you know, can really touch me, especially when I bring out Walnuts. I think the only moves which can actually do any damage to me are, in fact, uh, Snore and Body Slam, which is, you know, the only thing which is ever going to do anything on that is, in fact, Body Slam. So having a Steel Pokemon works very well here. <laughs> what it does mean is that I have to basically spam Rock Smash until it goes down. <laughs> Which could take a very, very long time. So what I may do is if this takes starts taking a really long time, I may just cut bits out. <laughs> I don't know if he's just going to spam Rock Slam, but I don't know. Just don't get crits. Don't get crits, sir. I've got my leftovers, which is making me happy and keeping me alive, surprisingly enough. Rock Smash. I know he has rest. Defense falling is fine, okay? Body Slam, not gonna do that much. Could be annoying if he paralyzes me, because then I become the slowest living thing in the history of humankind. Uh, Rock Smash, yes. Defense fell. Amnesia, don't care. Amnesia the Dark Descent, don't care. Special Defense going up, I don't even care. I'm attacking the defensive stat anyway. If I run out of PP on this move, I am fucked, okay? It's worth pointing out. Body Slam, don't care. This is this fight now. This is what you. This is what you were. Uh, uh, I don't know. Did you even know this was happening? I'm gonna actually real quick. While I'm here, while I've got some Pokemon that are able to stop what he's doing, I'm gonna bring Omelette to full health. Omelette could just be able to see us home in this rest. No. Okay, I'm cutting ahead for this one. Okay, this is pretty good. The defense falling is fantastic. I need. Ah, the rest is easy, it's a great tactic. Hang on. Rock Smash is not a good move, by the way. I should point that out. Rock Smash is a very weak move. It's only really useful as an... Oh, he's nearly dead. Don't use rest. Yes. Don't paralyze me either. Please. Please have mercy. Please have mercy. Yes. Oh, he's going down. Oh, yes. Walnut has just taken down a Snorlax. Snorlax just got juked. Look at all that delicious experience. <laughs> Wow, okay, final Pokemon, Venusaur, which I can also stall out, probably, with my Walnut, but I want to finish this off in a proper manner. Venusaur, I think, has got the Sunny Day Solar Beam combo, but shouldn't be too bad against Omelette, but I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to fly first, Sunny Day, okay, that's fine, um, I think, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I well, yeah, can't, might be maybe, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that missed. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, that's that's a good move. Good move on my part. Fly is not going to do too much. Let's go for a psychic. Okay. Solar beam's going to hurt, but not hugely, because I do have good defensive and it, and I do resist it. So I can take two of those. That's good. That's that's good. That's good. <laughs> I rather I can take two more of those. That's what I was going for. Psychic does about the same as fly, a little bit more than fly. I, well, there was spike damage as well. Gonna do it! Gonna do it! Don't die! And we're gonna do it! It's gonna really! Really! <laughs> okay. Okay, that was harsh, but okay. Is I see both faster than a Venusaur? Ah. Uh, hmm. Place your bets, place your bets. No, I'm not! No, I'm not! Uh, I'm gonna have to revive some Pokemon. Gonna have to revive some Pokemon! <laughs> Okay, give me a second. You know, I was just thinking, I was just briefly thinking, if I press A right now, is that a draw? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really want to find out, okay? Sunny Day, I think he only has grass moves. So I think I'm pretty well I'm pretty well off here. Uh, oh, Walnut finished it off. Didn't even need explosion. Walnut doing fantastic work. <laughs> How about them apples? He's got nothing to say. Wow. Nothing at all to say. I haven't got anything to say about that. How about that? And that is definitively Pokemon Gold over and out. Finished with, look at the dancing blossoms. It's a beautiful sight. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible adventure because I've mentioned it previously, but I've enjoyed the fuck out of this. This has been fantastic. It's not been one of my more popular video series, one of my more popular Let's Plays, as the viewing figures will tell you, but if you look at things like likes, you know, because they're very important on YouTube nowadays, um, 
people have been, you know, more engaged by this. They've been liking more videos. I don't know if that's my sudden urge to say, if you like the video, could you leave a like? Because I'm a desperate fuck. I don't know if it's something like that. But, um, yeah, people seem to enjoy it. So I think it's just the fact that I don't know if this is a people are put off by this game being being old or being a little bit outdated or anything like that so they don't actually click on the video I don't know I'm not too fussed about that but I've been I'm very happy about this the, f the funny thing is I initially decided to do this game quite a while ago and I thought I need to find my cartridge okay that's the hard thing because I there was a thing about Pokemon gold cartridges the, the, the internal battery running dry and it not really working and the whole game just shutting down. I found it like, you know, a couple of months ago and it was tight as a drum. It worked perfectly. And after all these years, you know, 14 years maybe, and that's if I got it on release day, it still works amazing. And it's still an incredible game. And I hope you've enjoyed it because the team I assembled, getting the shiny tentacle, things like that, fucking about with legendary dogs, fucking about with... Lugia, friggin' Hota wasn't too bad, the Elite Four, this has been fantastic and I've enjoyed it. Of course, what's, what, what, what has been your favourite moment? I need to stick a highlights video on the, on the end, of, end of this playlist. I'm going to enjoy that, but I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, because I, I thought it was fantastic. I loved every second of recording this, going to be honest. And on that note, thank you for joining me on this Let's Play, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time guys, take care.